Heart disease is the number one cause of death worldwide. About one third of people will die to some form of cardiovascular diseases. The main hallmark of heart disease is atherosclerotic plaque progression. It's the plaque accumulation in the arteries that begins to block blood flow. There are no gold standard methods of reversing plaque in the arteries. However, there's been a lot of interest recently about an over-the-counter supplement called natokinase that could potentially do it. So in this video, I'm going to look at the studies about natokinase and plaque progression. And is it something that could help with that? So make sure to click a like and subscribe for future videos about living longer and staying healthier. Natto kinase is an enzyme derived from natto, which is a fermented soybean dish. Natto is very nutritious and a good source of protein. It's by far the highest food source of vitamin K2. It has about 10 times more vitamin K2 than liver or cheeses, which are the second highest foods. Vitamin K2 has anti-coagulation, anti-inflammatory and anti-atherosclerotic properties. Dietary natto consumption in humans is linked to reduced heart disease mortality and all-cause mortality. In my natto also suppresses atherosclerotic plaque progression. So dietary natto is certainly something that could help with your heart health because of its high vitamin K2 content. But what about natto kinase supplements? The most recent 2022 study found that natto kinase supplementation at a dose of 10,800 fibronolytic units showed significant reductions in the thickness of the carotid artery intima media and the size of the carotid plaque by 66.5 to 95.4 percent. A dose of 3600 FUs a day was found to be ineffective in decreasing atherosclerosis progression. That's quite an amazing result for an over-the-counter supplement. However, this was a retrospective study, not a randomized controlled trial. This makes the results less robust. Fortunately, we also have a 2017 randomized controlled trial from China on 82 patients. One group was given 6,000 FUs of natokinase a day for 26 weeks, and the other group got 20 milligrams of simvastatin, which is a statin. Both groups saw a significant reduction in carotid plaque size, and common carotid artery intimal media thickness compared to baseline. However, the decrease in the natokinase group was much greater, 36.6% compared to the statin, 11.5%. In this study, they used 6,000 FUs per day, which is above the 3,600 FU threshold found to be effective in the 2022 retrospective study. So it appears that to get an effect from natokinase, you need to consume more than 3,600 FUs per day. This was highlighted by a 2021 randomized controlled trial that used a dose of 2,000 FUs. The dose of 2,000 FUs of natokinase had no effect on subclinical atherosclerosis progression in healthy individuals at low risk for cardiovascular disease. The reason for that might be that number one, they used a dose lower than the 3,600 FUs, and number two, these people were already healthy and at low risk of cardiovascular disease, so they might not have had that much plaque. In the 2017 Chinese randomized control trial, the dose of 6,000 FUs was found to be quite effective, and in the 2022 retrospective study, a dose of 10,000 FUs was found to be effective as well. So it appears that a low dose below 3600 or possibly even below 6000 FUs is not effective. To know the exact answer to that, we would need to do randomized controlled trials on different doses of natokinase. You would want to have a low dose group, which is below 3600 FUs, a medium dose group between 3600 and 6000 FUs, and a higher dose group above 6000 FUs and up to 10,000 FUs per day. Right now, we don't have that study, but hopefully we will get it in the near future. Regardless, natokinase still has many other cardiovascular health benefits. In humans, natokinase has also been seen to reduce clumping factors in the blood and lower clotting events during long-haul flights in high-risk individuals. Airplane stroke syndrome describes people getting strokes during long flights because of the reduced blood flow and increased clot formation during long periods of sitting. Natokinase can be an amazing supplement for reducing blood viscosity and clotting in those people who are at high risk of strokes. Whether or not natokinase is going to have an effect on reversing atherosclerosis plaque is still up to debate. The studies that I talk about in this video are certainly very interesting and they do you know point in some direction but to know whether or not natokinase can actually reverse atherosclerotic plaque we would need to do the different dose study with the low dose, moderate dose and a high dose. But we also have to be safe about it and consider the nature of atherosclerotic plaque progression. Maybe reversing it isn't actually that good of an idea. The calcium buildup is the final stage of atherosclerosis. There's already been damage to the endothelium and the plaque accumulation is just there to stabilize the wound. The gold standard for measuring atherosclerotic plaque is the CT scan that gives you a coronary artery calcium score. Calcium is there to stabilize and harden the plaque. 
it keeps it stable and reduces the blood clot formation, which happens with less stable plaques that are soft plaques. The hard plaque is actually much safer than the soft plaque because it's stable. The soft plaque isn't stable and not calcified, which is why it can lead to blood clot formation and subsequent strokes. The safety concern here is that if you keep reducing the hard plaque with whatever method, you could make it less stable and more volatile. Now the evidence that you could completely eradicate plaque from your arteries you know, we don't have any evidence right now for that. But this is something to remember when you are using some sort of lipid lowering medications or some other supplements that could reduce your plaque scores. The CT scan doesn't pick up soft plaque for which you need a computed tomography angiography or CCTA. Even if you have a coronary artery calcium score of zero, it doesn't mean you don't have soft plaque because the CT scan doesn't pick up soft plaque. And the soft plaque is actually much more dangerous than the calcified heart plaque. It's been found that 13 to 16 percent of people with a coronary artery calcium score of zero still have plaque. So this is one of the safety concerns that also needs to be addressed and monitored with the future trials on natokinase. Overall, do I think that natokinase is good? Yes, personally, I do think that it's good. In my eyes, at least, it has quite compelling evidence, but I'm still eager to wait for the future trials with the three different doses. Eating natto is also a good idea, and it is linked to a lower risk of heart disease mortality and or cause mortality. Other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click a like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay optimized, stay empowered.